Hi, I'm Matt and uh, today I'm going to show you a little bit about how to batch process files in Audacity, so uh, alter a lot of audio files at once basically. Um, first of all, as you can see I'm on a Mac, uh, but this um, principle applies to both the Windows and the Linux versions of Audacity as well. I'm using Audacity 1.3.12 which is from the beta series. Uh, so that's audacity.sourceforge.net slash download and choose one of the 1.3 series rather than the existing 1.2 series. That's the stable version. But I find the beta version is pretty stable anyway and gives you a lot more new features. So, uh, what I want to do is I want to batch process a lot of files. Uh, these are all files from uh, an iPhone application called Get Running, which is used by joggers, and these are samples that play over the top of music playing on a user's uh, iPhone or iPod. So if we open one of these, and I'll give you an idea of what that sounds like. Because these play over music, even though the music's ducked, um, we want them to be as loud as possible uh, to give them the best chance of being intelligible uh, with the background noise. So if I uh, play you one of these to give you an idea of what we're doing. Excellent. You've finished today's six runs. Cool down now by continuing to walk. So it's just a, just a human voice, basically. Um, but as you can see here, these some of these levels are very low in this file, and the whole of the file isn't really recorded up to the maximum potential, the loudest it could be. So I'm going to apply, if I were just doing one file, I would apply a couple of effects to it like this in Audacity. So I go to the Effects menu and I would use probably the Leveler, which is, I think, a kind of smart compressor, basically. Whatever it does, it seems to work for me. So I'm going to choose Heavy for Heavy Leveling. Sorry, Heavier is what I'm going to choose hit OK. And what you'll find is that, yes, even the fairly low recorded stuff has been bumped up a bit, but the um, the already fairly loud stuff hasn't been clipped. So, that's not bad, but I want to get it a little bit better. So I'm just going to normalize everything to 100% as well. So that will expand everything at the same rate, just to make sure that the maximum uh, dynamic width we've got is used. So, there's a normalize filter as well. Just going to use the defaults there. And you should see that this, yes, just bumps up a little bit more. So now, if you listen to it, you'll find that this is a lot louder. Excellent. You've finished today six runs. Cool down now by... by OK. Now that's all very well and good, but we want to apply it to probably about 100 files. Um, and that would get quite dull. So I'm going to show you a neat little thing in Audacity called Chains. First of all, uh, actually, no, we'll just do it straight from here. I'm going to go to the File menu, and there is an Edit Chains option. And this is the Edit Chains window. On the left-hand side, you've got a list of the chains, and on the right-hand side, you've got a list of what they do. So there's a couple provided with Audacity already. Um, and this, this is a quite simple one, MP3 conversion. And what that does is that applies two things, which is normalizes the file and then exports it as an MP3. What we're going to do is we're going to add one to do what we want to do. So I'm going to put it... Uh, heavier leveling, as I'm going to call the chain. So add menu and then type in the name and hit OK. So there's our new chain and here's our as yet empty chain. So I want to insert a new link into the chain here. Uh, oh, yes, sorry, you've got to choose, select where you want the link and then hit insert. There we go. And first thing I did was the leveler. So there's the leveler effect. I'm going to double click on that. That pops it into there. Edit the parameters just to make sure the degree of leveling is set to heavier, which it is. Leave the threshold for noise as it was, like I did before. And I'm going to hit OK. Then we want to add another link in the chain, which was that normalize that we did. There we go. Now, this is all well and good, and you would think that level and normalize would be all you would need to do. But this isn't actually going to save the file afterwards. So what we're going to do is add a final link in the chain. And these are all WAV files, and I want to keep them as WAV files, so I'm going to choose Export WAV. So there's no loss, there's just the processing. Hit OK there. So now we have a chain of events which is going to level a file, normalize a file, and then export it as a WAV file. So we hit OK on that to save those details. Uh, I'm going to close this. No changes. Um, so instead of doing it on all 100, because that would take ages, I've just got a batch of files here. Um, to show you as an example. I'm going to go back to Audacity. Uh, we need a file open, even if it's an empty file, before we can get the menu up. I don't know whether that's a Mac thing or whether that's standard, but uh, 
but the important thing is you want to go to file and then apply chain that will let you choose a chain so any of the three but we're going to choose the one that we just created heavier leveling and we're going to choose apply to files so this is the folder here and I'm going to choose all of those files and I'm just going to hit the open button and what you'll see now is Audacity opening up the files running the level and the normalize and then it's exporting them as a WAV file. This applying window here gives you a progress indicator of how many files you've through. So here we're pretty much at the last file. And we're done. So I'm going to close that down now. Don't need to save any changes. Um, and here we'll find there's a new folder alongside the existing folder where the WAV files were called Cleaned, um, which I guess is the default name in Audacity. Double click in there and we have a lot more files, oh, sorry, we have exactly the same files as we did, let me just open that up as a new window, that'll be easier. So there's the originals and there's the cleaned ones. And if we have a look at this original file here with Audacity, you'll see there is the original weedy file with not very much uh, gain to it. And here in the cleaned area, open that with Audacity, you'll find the newly expanded file which is a lot louder and I'll play them back to back so you can hear the difference more clearly than you could before here's the original excellent you've finished today six runs and here's the new one excellent you've finished today six runs so nice and loud and that should work very well in the application and we haven't had to sit there opening eight files at once and applying the changes and more to the point I won't have to sit there doing a hundred of them thank goodness so I uh, hope you've uh, found this useful. Any comments, uh, welcome. I'm not an Audacity expert. This was just something that I fancied doing. So, see you next time.